My name is Lauren Barnes and I go to Northwestern Oklahoma State University. I'm competing in the goat tying at the College National Finals Rodeo. Actually, that was a really tough decision. I played softball and volleyball in high school and I was honestly thinking about playing college softball instead of rodeoing. And really what made me decide to rodeo was my passion for it. I have a really big passion to train and uh, compete in rodeo and I just love working with animals and to me each animal is just like a person and I just I love horses and I love their personalities it's just a sport like no other and you just don't get that from other sports right now I'm going to school for elementary education I actually changed majors I was a marketing and business major and uh, about my junior year I decided I wanted to teach business is a lot tougher than education in my opinion um, I maybe education has been a little bit easier for me because I actually have a passion for it and I really feel like I finally found what I meant to do and I don't think business was the right area just working with the kids to me is kind of like animals and teaching and training and the same thing and you just get to see their eyes light up when they learn something new and I just love that. So we played in the softball tournament. Uh, Central Plains won last year so we got a bye and uh, we lost to the Southwest region. It was a lot of fun. It's just nice to have a little bit of relaxing and not be so stressed and because you're so stressed for each run and you're so nervous and to go out there and just play in that softball game kind of just relieves a little bit of that and so that kind of helps me to be able to relax a little bit more for competition. My coach told me not to slide and <laughs> I decided to slide and I really didn't mean to. It was kind of just an instinct from playing from all those years past. Currently I'm sitting second in the average and so there's probably a few girls that could butt me and they got it they still have to go. My game plan at first was to just go and be another six and then my dad kind of talked to me he said no you're a senior this is your last year you're sitting good you have nothing to lose he said you just go as fast as you can and make the fastest run you've ever made in your life and you leave it all out there and so that's honestly going to be my game plan i'm just going to go for it all and not leave anything out Actually, I have been doing um, the T25 workouts to prepare for the college finals. Goat tying is a very athletic sport, and so you need to be in really good shape, in my opinion. You need to be very flexible. You need to be able to make quick movements. You need to be able to get down low. So I've been doing that, and then actually my dad had me doing some CrossFit with him, and that's really gotten me prepared for this. And then I've also been tying every day. My mom did a little bit of barrel racing. My dad's dad did some racehorses, but nobody really did rodeo exactly. Um, ever since I was younger, I've been riding a horse and my two older sisters rode. They never went too deep into it. They were more into some other sports. And like I said, I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with horses at a young age and I couldn't get away from it. I couldn't get enough of it. So anything that it had to do with a horse, I tried English for a little while um, when I was younger because I saw girls jumping and I thought that looked like a lot of fun. And it was just too slow for me, <laughs> honestly. I couldn't, I was tired of going slow. And so I came right back to rodeo where it's fast paced and I love the speed and I, I love horses. My older sister Heather, she rode it a little bit more than my other sister. She actually, the barrel horse I rode in high school, she trained and I got him and she kind of gave me some tips and things to do. As far as probably right now, Lynn Smith helped me a lot in the goat tying when I was younger. She's kind of the one who taught me to get going and figured out how to make things faster and get better at it and so she's kind of helped me and she still helped me here actually before my last run I kind of talked to her and put a game plan together and she helped me out even though she's not my coach she still helps me. I loved it. Um, Stockton Graves is our coach and he is just outstanding. He um, really helps you know how to win and get your mind set and he sets up jackpots for us and puts us in different situations it's not all of us once you're at the college level anybody can win everyone can go out there and make a great run and they know what they're doing i mean you're at the college level 
every single person here can win this whole thing. It's all about your mindset and Stockton really knows how to get you where your mind is right and how you're gonna prepare to win. Well, actually, I almost made it here in the barrels. Um, in College Rodeo, you can um, pick up another event if you win the all-around. And in order to do that, you have to have 200 points in each of your events that you're gonna take. Well, I had 900 points in just the goat tying, and I had actually 95 points in the barrel racing. We had like three rodeos left, and actually I've been running a colt all year. I didn't have a good barrel horse. I've been training this horse for about a year now. And he finally kind of started to come along, and then he ended up kind of getting hurt at our second to last rodeo. So that kind of cost me a little bit and so I wasn't able to pick up the barrels. So actually after after the college rodeo, I'm gonna probably take him and I'm a, I bought my permit this year for the first time and I'm gonna go to a couple pro rodeos and just kind of play around and see where it goes. I'm entered up at Prescott and Flagstaff right now. I trust my horse a lot. I know he's ready. He's only six, but he's really shown me that he can really do it. And I don't, it's really not any nerve wracking than any other rodeo for me. <laughs> To me, success and kind of happiness for me go hand in hand. If I'm going to be successful, I want to be happy. And yeah, it would be outstanding to wish, win a national title. But for me to have success in life, I want to make a difference in this world. I want to be able to make a difference in other people's lives and make a positive influence on them. That's why I became an education major and became a teacher because I believe as a teacher, I'm going to be able to make a big difference in those children's lives. Because of the fact that I call it rodeo, I'm gonna have a ton of benefits outside of rodeo, I believe, and inside the rodeo world, just because of the contacts I've made, the people I've met, I believe that I'm gonna, these people I've met rodeoing, I'm gonna know for the rest of my life. And if I need a job or maybe just some help or something, I know that I can count on these people that I've met through college rodeo. It's been the greatest experience of my life so far. I've loved every minute of it. The people I've met are just outstanding. The experiences, I mean, I just want to trade it for the world. I've learned so much about myself. I've became a greater person through this. I truly believe that college rodeos molded me into the person I am today. The people I've met have molded me. The experiences, the things I've learned. You don't just learn things about rodeo, you learn things about life.